What's up, Meta Nerds? This video is all about the Dowson species, a terrifying creature that is invisible in the Force, and what nearly enabled Darth Maul's death. It is a massive arthropod that hails from the planet Va'art, and interestingly, it's relatively near to the Ysalmiri's home, another creature with an irregular relationship with the Force. But it should be pointed out that there are very important differences between the two. The Ysalmiri would actively repel the Force as a sort of camouflage, adapted to survive in an environment with Vornskurs, a creature that would hunt down animals by detecting them in the Force. The Dowson, on the other hand, would just passively be blank in the Force, always undetectable, but wouldn't prevent one from using Force abilities. When these creatures hatch, they are less than a meter or only a couple feet long, but can grow to an enormous length of 20 meters or 66 feet. When standing up, that's nearly as tall as an AT-AT, or about one-fifth the Zillow Beast. If it were here on Earth, it would be one and a half school buses long, or as tall as a six-story building. Vision is acquired through these enormous green-black eyes, and it would travel around via these large claws, while food was cut up with these mandibles. By the way, these mandibles would be about a meter long, or about three feet, and would also be used for cutting off its webbing. Like a giant mix of a spider and centipede, this creature would quickly shoot out a silken webbing that it would use to capture prey and transverse its environment. When unlucky souls ventured onto these silken bridges, the Dowson would violently shake that strand, causing its prey to fall down, and almost immediately follow this up with a shot of webbing that would pin them in place. What's really interesting is that this image contains a lot of color, but this may be representative of its surroundings, because when Darth Maul first set eyes on it, he described it as huge and oddly unsubstantial, like a weaving pillar of smoke. Light could pass through, it must have been a light whitish gray color, perhaps the result of this particular Dowson dwelling deep in the lower levels of Coruscant. No natural or even artificial light was in this abandoned and decrepit part of the city, so just imagine how creepy it is for a translucent spider grub creature that moves in such a slow and flowing manner. Here we get more details from Maul's prey, a Jedi named Darsha, who sees that the creature's body is covered in segmented plates, with a bunch of gross nodules 2 centimeters in diameter covering the surface. She also notices that because you can see through its organs, skeletons of both humans and Cathans were lining its stomach and intestines. Both our Jedi and Sith here instantly realize that this thing creates a sort of blank space in the mental map Force users make of their surroundings. This of course was its main defense, but those plates were all blaster resistant and even could withstand lightsaber blows. When she plunges her yellow blade into the creature's belly, the blade just crackles and harmlessly diffuses across the area. The Jedi had taught that the Dowson had been long extinct, but apparently it could live on just fine in the permanent night of the lower levels. The only reason they were able to escape was because it is very slow, and had set up a ton of web bridges that were more than sturdy enough to allow a party of humans to cross it. It was the cutting of one of these bridges that enabled Maul to escape being devoured, but it is unclear if that fall killed the Dowson, or if it lives on terrorizing those relegated to even lower levels. But Maul would still be haunted by this thing in the form of its small nodule. One was able to be sliced off, and then was picked up by the droid I-5, and used by the former Jedi Temple employee named Lorne, who used its ability to create a blank space in the Force to sneak up on Maul and fire a stun bolt into the Sith's back. Maul could have easily died here if it wasn't for Lorne's greed and fear. And perhaps Palpatine discovered this method of besting a Force user, because he made sure all of the Inquisitorius, a section of Imperial intelligence that contained the Jedi Hunters known as the Inquisitors, or an amulet that contained a small nodule of flesh from the Dowson. Then, years later, this fabled and thought extinct species is present on Dryden Voss's yacht. In a small container, there is a Dowson grub on display. Many of these things are ancient, so perhaps it is some long dead specimen, but I would leave open the idea that this was being kept alive or in suspended animation, and perhaps still able to cloak one's presence in the Force. I can't help but wonder if Maul was aware of this part of Dryden's collection, or if he ever used it to conceal his Force presence from Maul. So that's it for its history, but you definitely want to hear these cool facts and behind the scenes stuff. Officially this thing's described as an annelid, but a lot of its descriptions make it seem a lot more like an arthropod. The creature does have an exoskeleton, and may even have a real-world inspiration from the arthropod the webworm. There's no evidence that the Towson will turn into a butterfly or moth, but its combo of caterpillar and web-making reminded me of the webworm. If you can think of something closer, definitely put it in the description. It was first introduced in the book Darth Maul Shadowhunter, but mentioned in everything from Darth Plagueis, Coruscant Knights, 
and expanded upon in the Jedi Path and Power of the Jedi Sourcebook. Its appearance in canon was via the Solo movie, but the specifics of it may change. But that's it for the Dowson. If you want to connect with us, help support the channel, or get your own copies of the reference materials used to make these videos, be sure to check out the links in the description. Special shout out to our supporters over on Patreon, but most important of all, remember, if you live on the lower levels of Coruscant, beware the falling spider pillar demon creatures, and the force will be with you, always.